talk about one of the bills that I filed this, uh, through this session. Uh, that the session ends obviously, uh, the formal session ends July 31st, so we're not in the final process as of yet, but we are uh, currently in the debating session of where certain bills are going, this was one of them. Uh, before I actually get started, I do want to introduce my new legislative aide, who had just started a couple weeks ago, and I want to introduce her to Nura, uh, Maria Popolo. So if you're not seeing me around, Maria's going to be around, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions and be helpful in you know, keeping our constituent services as high as possible. Uh, so I filed a Greenway reform bill uh, last year uh, during the beginning of session in January. Before all the hoopla of the Boston Herald article, and before all the, uh, you know, the, uh, the drama that's played out over the last couple of months, uh, rewind 14, 15 months ago, I realized that in order for us to make the next step in, in regard to uh, providing the, the highest service, quality of service uh, on the Greenway, we needed to make some changes on the current structure of, of the Conservancy. Uh, the original legislation that we filed in 2000, and, or I'm sorry, that passed in 2008, uh, stated, uh, set up the Greenway Board, set up the Greenway Leadership Council, uh, set up the structure that we currently have today, but also said that the state funding, uh, which, is, which is currently situated at 50% of the operation and maintenance budget of the Greenway Conservancy, would be sunset, there was, they put a sunset clause in there, which means it would run out at the end of FY12, which is, uh, in layman's terms, uh, June 30th, 2012. So I saw that there was, there was a, a discussion going to have to have about the, fun, about the funding mechanism, but I also wanted to discuss how we were going to uh, you know, uh, make some tweaks and changes to the way the Conservancy operates. Uh, I personally felt we needed more, a little more neighborhood input. I felt we needed a little more open transparency. Uh, so in that, I created, uh, or I put in the bill, that the, uh, the Greenway Conservancy would be subject to the open meeting laws. Uh, some people have added the public record laws, which is not something I'm necessarily against, but I felt that it was time that we, uh, we, we, we create a little more transparency. And by doing that, we were creating maybe one of the most highest transparency situations for any nonprofit in the entire state. I don't know of many nonprofits, if any, that are, are subject to the open meeting laws, um, and as, or as, or especially anyone that receives state funding, which there are many of that do. The other piece of the, of the legislation that's not related to the funding was that I, I wanted to create the Greenway Leadership Council as a, a veto power of the operation budget. Of the, um, of, the green, of the board, of the Greenway Conservancy. Uh, for, for those that aren't aware, there is, a board of, there is a board of directors and then there is a leadership council. The leadership <coughs> council is almost majority made up of, of residents, of, of, of residents that surround the entire, uh, the, about the entire Greenway, meaning the North End, the Wharf District, uh, Chinatown, uh, the Leather District. Uh, the board is not necessarily made up of, of residents. Uh, there are some appointments from elected officials. I have one appointment on the board, which is Suzanne Lavoie. I also have another appointment on the leadership council, which is Donna Frenny, who's here tonight. Uh, but the board is a little set, is a little different. The board at right now is making all the decisions that takes place on the Greenway. I wanted to create a little more checks and balance system uh, between, from the, from the neighborhood's perspective, on what goes on in the Greenway. Because it, the, ma the matter of the fact is, and this is in no, and this is a no disrespect to anybody that is on the, that's currently working for the conservancy or is in charge or on the board, because like I said, one of, them, one of the board members is my appointment, is, is one of my appointments. Uh, I wanted to have the neighborhoods at least have some protections and some checks and balances, so this way, down the road as we go further, that there is no, um, that there is no uh, uh, thing that can be shoved down the neighborhood's throats. That's really the way I looked at it. Uh, so that, those are the two pieces that weren't related to the funding. The, uh, the, last, the last piece was related to the funding, and it was extending the, the funding mechanism that the state currently uh, operates under for an additional five years. Uh, the reason behind that is because I believe in the public-private partnership that we currently have. I, like I said before, I think that there needs to be some changes, and I think that, that we need to have, make sure that we have accountability, a better accountability in, that, in the Greenway Conservancy. But I wanted to, I wanted to extend the funding I want to, I'm supporting extending the funding because of the fact is that I want to make these parks, the, I want to keep these parks the most beautiful parks possible. 
I think the Greenway Conservancy and the Greenway as a whole has done a pretty good job over the last couple of years. Each year, each year, each summer and spring and fall um, uh, season, the Greenway has gotten better and better and better. And the last summer and last uh, spring, summer, fall was was I think the best. And I'm excited about seeing what the next uh, you know next spring, summer, fall season is going to show us. Uh, I think it's brought a lot of attention, a lot of um, a lot of energy to the city, a lot of energy to downtown, a lot of energy, more energy to the north end. I think it's been, a, I've been I think it's been a great economic engine for the surrounding businesses and for the surrounding communities. Uh, and I think that we want to continue that growth in, in a positive manner. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So extending it for another five years, I felt, would allow us to continue to see where this goes and see where we're going with the conservancy. Um, there are many, there are many critics of, of, you know, there are many critics of the conservancy, and I think some of them are right, are, are right on point. But I don't want to be able to, I don't want to destroy everything and and start from ground zero. One of my colleagues, actually, from what, uh, from Central or Western Mass, I, I, you get past Newton, and I, I get lost, to be honest with you. But one of my colleagues ended up uh, filing the bill most recently, and I, and, it, and, it, and it was in reaction to what the what the Harold stories were writing. That he wanted to put the uh, conservancy back in, or the Greenway back in control of the Department of Conservation and Recreation. I do not feel that, that I do not feel that that is, a, that is a good step. The Department of Conservation and Recreation is not equipped and not um, stable enough at this point in time to take on the challenges that 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 that, that happen uh, with running the Greenway and running the amount of with with how long it is, the amount of action that takes place there. And the and the you know the uh, expensive endeavors that were placed on the greenway, like the fountains and some of those some, some of those endeavors that are gonna that we need to keep up. The Department of Conservation and Recreation also does not want to take this on. They, uh, if you check the governor's budget every year when he makes his original proposals for the uh, for the state budget, every single year he has he has tried to privatize pieces of the Department of Conservation and Recreation. And one of those pieces has been Stariti Rink. And every year we get up, meaning the, meaning the people that represent a lot of these, a lot of these areas that were prioritized, and, we, and we, 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 go, we bounce, push back on the governor on these things to try to keep these public facilities. Because we believe that that should, you know, like the Stariti Rink should stay a public facility. If, the, if that just shows you anything, that just shows you that not only are they willing to not take on, they don't want to deal with the responsibilities that they have right now, they are certainly not ready to take on responsibilities <coughs> That they that, are, that they that they can or I'm sorry additional responsibilities they certainly don't want to take on additional responsibilities. Another avenue of, of state government that could possibly you know has been discussed about taking over is the Department of Transportation. The Department of Transportation actually owns the land and the Greenwood Conservancy leases the land from the Department of Transportation. Uh, before the Conservancy took over, the Department of Transportation was in charge of the Greenway. Um, I, I heard many complaints about snow removal, about certain things that weren't that weren't being done in, a, in an adequate fashion, and the Department of Transportation, I believe, should not be in the parks business to begin with. I can hear the argument about putting DCR in the parks business because that's a lot of what they do. The Department of Transportation, I, I do not believe, should be in the parks business. And, and just lastly, and the most important point I feel, is that we went through 16 years of construction, chaos, turmoil. Businesses got shut down, rats ran rampant in our neighborhood and, and, and destroyed our quality of life for 16 years. Um, and basically, to do, you know, what was an important project? The Big Dig, for all its faults, was an important project. We needed, to, we needed to do something with the central artery, but we had to take the burden of it. And everyone's trip that comes, in from, that comes into Boston every day, was their, their easy ride into Boston, which is, a, which is much smoother than it once was, was built off the backs of the people in this neighborhood and on the neighborhoods that surround the Greenway. It is my job and my belief that th these parks, we deserve the best parks in the state. We deserve the best parks possible. And I believe that having a public-private partnership that we currently have is the way to go. And I stand by that belief. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can, we can do something where we're going to have better transparency, we're going to have better accountability, there is going to be, we're going to know exactly where every public dollar is being spent, and I'm going to continue to work towards that, but let's, let's, not destroy, let's not destroy what I believe is the right way to go and what is, what is, what is the best route to take to make sure that, those, that we get what we deserve for all that construction and all that turmoil. So, my time's up, I don't know.
You can find if you want a few more minutes. I, I, you know, I, I'll take any questions. I'm happy to take any questions. Uh, or do you want to wait till the end? Let's put the questions oh, to the end. end. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.